Hello, I'm Mark Johnson, and I'm uh, inspecting a barn today over in the Stillwater area. Um, we're standing in the upstairs of this horse barn. Um, there used to be a, a racetrack here, and as you can see from all of the uh, horse harnesses and so forth, well, there's some stanchions there, which probably were used for uh, some other type of livestock, like some dairy cattle or something. But the uh, lower level is all completely enclosed, <clears throat> or covered, I should say. So you, you, could, you really can't tell how the structure was built. But up here, you can see that it's a, a timber frame uh, structure. And the, these uh, large timbers, uh, uh, it's been rumored that they are they're from a, a railroad bridge or something. We got we have square nails in here, and there's some pegs in some areas, but um, a lot of it looks like it was uh, nailed together. And these big uh, members are six by by fourteen inch timbers, and they make up um, the floor system for the loft floor and for the main floor. And it's really uh, so well built that there's no center beam down the middle of the building like we usually find in barns and, and things like that. So the, um, the space below us is actually a clear span building, um, with no posts in it in other words. And in, down in the basement, these same six by 14 inch timbers were also used for the floor construction there and there's no center beam in the basement although the basement really um, doesn't serve any purposes it's got a dirt floor and, and no access to it but i'm going to be um, looking at doing some work our first priority is to get the uh, the roof restored and repair this area over here get some new sheeting on it and and get some new roofing. Um, there are there are some gaps in between the uh, roof boards which is uh, common uh, because when it was originally um, built the only type of roofing that was available were cedar shingles and the um, carpenters obviously couldn't see any purpose in having continuous um, roof decking like we have today when we put on asphalt shingles and so forth so they could pretty much tell where the gaps were and they made sure they didn't put nails there but anyhow if if uh, the owner decides to put asphalt shingles on the roof we're going to have to um, take all the uh, shingles off and put some sort of uh, uh, solid decking like plywood or over it and um, that really works good but from the inside uh, you're going to be able to see all the plywood unless we put tar paper down first to, just to hide it so to speak but anyhow that's pretty easy to do also it's not a real st a steep roof pitch so um, it won't be as uh, I don't know challenging as the one we just finished so anyhow We'll um, take a look at the uh, lower level here quickly. And then it'll be done. This is what I mean, there's no supports down here. Um, the ceiling has been installed as a beaded um, type of ceiling board here that's been used commonly during that time. And the outside has been covered up with some beautiful masonite clapboard. Um, so um, you may want to uh, do something different with that, but uh, for the time being it's, uh, it, it's serving its purpose. So anyhow, that's the end of my inspection.